Conan Tinker Cat friends, I've got a project for you today. I want to bring back the friendship ring. So for starters, I'm going to name it friendship ring, and then we're going to find a nifty little tool. You would think if it's going to be a ring, we would use the cylinder, but it is actually even slicker if you just use the tube. When you bring the tube out, do not drag anything. Just simply type these numbers and you will instantly have what is called a size 10 ring. After you put in each number, press enter so that it moves. Uh, if you want to see it real round for a second, type 64 right here. And then I like it to have a bevel so that it doesn't cut into your finger. And I like it to have four segments. These are all things you can fiddle with. Let's take a quick look by hitting Fit View to Selection, and then we can check it out from every corner to see how nifty the ring is. Right now it's really fat at 10 millimeters tall. Let's switch it to 8. So in about a minute, plus hello, we have made a size 10 ring. Now my thought with this is if you want to make a different size, so if you want to make a size 9, I have found that you can scale it down by 5% or you can scale it up by 5% for each ring size you want to go. And you can do that right in your 3D printer software. So in my mind, make one ring, scale it however you want. I want to have 10 sides with letters on them. So by switching it to a 10 side shape, it immediately splits it evenly. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where it gets super cool. We're going to put letters on each of these 10 faces to make a word. Let's hit W, click on the face that we care about, and let's go down and find our text. I like to use all, and I find the one called script that I find on the fourth tab. When you bring out a piece of script, it is dropping right on that work plane because of the W that we pressed a minute ago. I want to use Bebes today. You can pick any font that you want, and then I'm going to make a letter H. I'm rolling my wheel back so I can see it all and switching my grid to 0.25 millimeters. This lets me hold down Shift and shrink it in every direction at once by holding one corner. I am making mine about 5 millimeters tall. So there's the closest I can get, 5.13. And then I can use the arrows to nudge that little fella into place. I'm going to scroll in, look at him from the side, and I'm going to change his height to one millimeter thick. And I'm going to make him a hole. I want to push him into my ring, and I'm going to push him in 0.5 millimeters, which was two clicks. I want to make sure it's centered up and down. So I'm going to grab it all and click a line and do the center button. At this point, I'm going to use a super cool copy trick. So I'm clicking the H and I'm doing Control C to copy. I'm immediately switching to the other side, pressing the W to switch to the work plane that is exactly opposite. That's super important. And then you have to click one more time to lock in that work plane. When I do Control V, notice it went to a wackadoodle location. But if I pull this all the way through, it's on that work plane, and if I look at it from the left, I can just use that arrow key to move it across so it is exactly opposite the first letter. I'm going to orbit in, grab the cone, push it in 0.5 millimeters. Went one too many, so I'm going to pull it out. And then here, my friends, is where it gets amazing. I'm going to shut off the work plane because I don't need it. I'm going to click the first one, orbit around, hold down shift, and click the second one. I've now got two of these selected, and I'm gonna use the duplicate key. Now it's important to not touch anything else after you do this, or you lose the trick. So here's my Control D, you saw it blink so that there's two, and then 360 degrees, right? 10 sides, so that means I need to rotate 36 degrees. There you can see the 36 on the very bottom, I let go, do not touch anything else, and just hit Control D again, and it stores those measurements. I have almost instantly put letters on every side. So then you can simply click on your letters and change them to what you want your phrase to be. You could do something like I love you or somebody's name. I'm going to do HL Mod Tech. You'll 
notice I have one extra one in the middle. So there's HL Mod Tech because there are only nine letters. And for this one, I'm going to put something cool. I'm going to put a heart for the love HL Mod Tech. So I'm going to delete that little fella, hit the work plane. Let's go back to the basic shapes because I know there's a heart on that screen. Once again, bring him in, hold down shift and shrink him down till he's close to that five millimeter size. And then with him in that location, I'm going to nudge him over and arrange him just like I did the others. Change his thickness to just one millimeter, make him a hole, push him in 0.5 millimeters. And just to make sure it's perfect, I'm touching those two pieces. Notice two pieces, pieces selected, and I'm going to get him centered in the middle. With your ring built, I'm going to get that work plane shut off. I'm going to click on the orange ring and make it back to being round by going size 64. Notice all the little letters are poking out pretty nifty. Select it, group it, and you have just created your very own awesome custom phrase friendship ring that you can give to anybody in the world. Once you've made the ring once, you can duplicate the whole ring, pull it off to the side, you could ungroup it, and you could simply put new words there as well. So you can see here I made a real quick I love you version. Notice I deleted one side so that we could spread it out a little bit. Uh, there's lots of options if you want more letters use something different than 10 the nice thing about 10 was that 36 degree rotation was unbelievably simple to uh, solve remember you raise it five percent to go up to size 11 uh, size for the ring uh, they print in about seven minutes on a 3d printer uh, you can share them with all your friends and i hope you had fun making this cool friendship ring if you like the movie please click that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button and if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from hl mod tech click that notification bell have a great day friends and keep tinkering